Tonight, we are tracking Hurricane Dorian and how communities across the east are getting prepared. Good evening. I'm Ken Watley. And I'm Shayla Reeves. Thank you for joining us. The storm is already blamed for seven deaths in the Bahamas, a number that's expected to rise. Today, Governor Roy Cooper confirmed the first Dorian related death in North Carolina. It happened in Columbus County, just west of Wilmington. An 85 year old man fell off a ladder while preparing his home for the storm. The governor now urging everyone to remember caution and safety. Right now, we're approaching one year since Hurricane. Florence made landfall here in eastern North Carolina. Many people are still recovering from that storm. But many are hopeful their recovery efforts will not be impacted by Hurricane Dorian. Nine of your sides, Camila Barco has more from North Topsail. People in North Topsail Beach are taking no chances when it comes to Hurricane Dorian. It's after Hurricane Florence last year made landfall and caused severe damage to the island. Uh, right after the storm, it had, uh, it had taken about half the roof off of it and uh, had a lot of interior damage. Terry with Triton Contracting Services says this home, like many others, needed to be repaired. We so had a new roof, new soffits, and we were actually in the process of getting ready to finish up what needed to be done from Florence. At Town Hall, tarps still cover the roof. Uh, it's been uh, gutted on the inside trying to get ready for fixing it. North Topsail Beach police were forced to evacuate from Town Hall to a trailer to this building. Uh, we also have a, a substation that we're running out of one of the fire departments so that the officers have a place on the island that they can meet and do their equipment changeovers. And, it's and it was last reported 2.44 billion cubic yards of sand was lost. Town officials say $50 million is needed to replace the first line of defense. The town is not where it was before Florence, but they're hoping their efforts are not impacted by Hurricane Dorian. They're going ahead, getting boarded up as quick as they can, and uh, just uh, never know. 